the inverted unicorn. So we just talked about the unicorn. Now we're going to flip it upside down and do it the inverted way. So similar setup. However, for this one, I find it easier to lock myself in if my bottom leg is more so on the outside of my heel here versus in the right side up unicorn we like to put the pole behind that knee pit okay so i'm going to do it one time on static and then i'll do it on spin so for static you're going to invert hook the outside leg and then place the bottom outside of your heel on the pole okay your bottom arm is the one that's going to thread through for the elbow grip and your top arm is going to reach up and over and attempt to grab the bottom leg ankle okay it'll make more sense once i do it <laughs> all right so invert outside leg hook so left leg is going to hook right outside of my heel on the pole and I want to kind of push my butt back a little bit I want a little bit of space in between the pole and my legs so I can thread my right arm through grip the pole with that elbow pit now my top hand can come off I'm gonna reach up and over grab the outside of my right foot and then you can use this connection point to pull your chest through okay now i will do it on spin so you can see all the angles all right so spin i'm gonna pull myself up invert and then same process here we go invert left knee pit hooks right hand's gonna slide down push myself away from the pole outside of right heel on the pole push my booty back a little bit kind of untuck your tailbone right elbow pit threads through squeeze left hand releases i have this nice contact point with the back of my right my right tricep to my right inner thigh so I'm pushing those two contact points together reaching down grabbing let's see if I can make this work here we go spin <laughs> grab the outside of that bottom leg foot and open your chest smile always to come out release that bottom hand Use those left obliques, pull yourself back up, and come out how you wish. All right, your turn.